This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Jack Threads. And uh, if you look at the remote control, uh, they are here. So we have thrust on the left stick, then we have uh, yaw on this stick, and we have pitch and roll. So this is being translated directly into the actuation of the airframe. Okay. So uh, we can take th those and we want to define them. We could also add additional commands. Like for example, if you have a camera on it, you want to add a command to be able to actuate it in pitch. Like if you had servos on the yeah, camera and exactly. you could do some, some panning and stuff. Exactly. It. Or you have uh, something, you want to, if an SLR, you want to make, make a photo, you would add have a command a for it. Yeah, make a, make a shot or start recording or, or something. Or if you wanted to fire the missiles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, and the then the laws, so what so are those? So command laws are um, how the commands that you have are being translated uh, into uh, other commands. You can create new commands in between. So you can do some math depending on how complicated your things are. In our case, it is, uh, we only have a yaw uh, that is translating into the motion of the uh, elevons. So we have it uh, translating an Alevon left and Alevon right are based on the roll command. So in this case, so sorry, it is a roll command that is actuating it. I see. <laughs> so next thing would be uh, um, actuators for a microcopter motor controller. We don't use that. This is just, uh, uh, just a placeholder in this case. But we have uh, uh, additional uh, coefficients here lower. It is uh, pitch coefficient, roll coefficient, yaw coefficient, and thrust coefficient. These are basically the translation from the command to the motor thrust command. So because this airframe is similar to a, a quadrocopter, it is using the thrust difference to actuate uh, um, the, the whole airframe and like control. So it. these going at one speed and these going at another? Exactly. So if you want to pitch down, then you uh, would uh, um, speed up the upper ones and decrease the speed of the lower ones. So this translates di directly to this. Uh, so what are matrix. those four values then? So these values are uh, basically the translation, um, sign translation from, uh, from the command. If I put a pitch command, it is being multiplied by this value. So it is between 0 and 1. And it is uh, uh, translating it into a command to the actuator. So in this case, if I pitch, okay. full pitch, then it would be minus 256 to, one, uh, to the A1, minus 256 to A2, and, uh, and, so, and so on and to, so forth. To B1 and B2? Or yeah, or B1 and B2. This I is see. the same order as okay. uh, up, As you defined above. Great. It's very, very uh, simple. The same for roll, in this case... So if you wanted to, you could modify these so that it what, yeah. goes slower or banks? Like, it has like it is, no, in this case, we have a translation uh, if we have a complete other order of the motors. If you added more motors, you would have an additional two so columns. You could, you could like take something like this grab an off-the-shelf airframe and then attach this exactly. stuff and then you just have to yeah. redefine you can, it in this you can XML. Just, you can just take a, uh, two bars, put them in a V, for example, and put the motors and mm -hmm. say like, okay, to actuate those, I need to multiply the values like this and done. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, that's quite That's really simple. versatile and that's a lot easier than like going into the C code and yes, changing it definitely. on that level. We, we, we even have, uh, have a tool uh, in the paparazzi wiki or a description how you can calculate these values by just measuring your frame and saying where, it, where everything is located. Oh, nice. Then you just run it and you get these values out. Yeah, so you don't have to sit there doing trial and error because trial and error with software, okay, but trial <laughs> and error when you've got you know, an expensive craft, not yes, so much. Exactly, it's uh, with hardware, it's Well, that's a great expensive. way for somebody to go ahead and start uh, modifying to start hacking away at what's already existing in this XML. I know that you can get a lot more in yeah, depth with yeah, it. I mean, paparazzi yeah. all being open source. Uh, and that being so cool that you were able to take, you know, using like the open source paparazzi stuff that had already defined fixed wing aircraft, uh, yes. as well as uh, roto uh, or, uh, quadrocopters. quadrocopters. Or uh, multicopters. And this, uh, the, the, the quad shot here being kind of like a marriage of both, was it, you know, I, I know it's not just a matter of like copying and pasting the code from the both libraries or whatever, but uh, did, yeah. how much would you say that helped you from, the, from a standpoint of 
you know, prototyping. Oh yeah, getting so this going. It, because because it is modular, it, uh, be, beside all these settings, you have also modules that you can load through the XML. But definitely having already the rotorcraft support and then having the uh, airplane support. Uh, we already had something to work out. So we, we started basically with a quadrocopter code, so it could hover only. Mm -hmm. And then we started adding the, the code from, this, from the airplane side and merging that together and uh, also improved our control. So, so, so we a had a basis point, to work So out. at a certain point, does this guy come up and then, tell, and then become an airframe like, or an airplane? Exactly. And this, that uh, this, this is the idea to, uh, to have both uh, have a um, hovering airplane that is stable and easy to, to, to hold in place. It doesn't run away or fly away in this case. And uh, then you can transition into horizontal flight and uh, have much more endurance, uh, fly further for longer and do also 3D aerobatic flight. So okay. that's the idea. Well, let's talk about actually flying it away. Uh, you have uh, software on here that's part of, is it part of the propeller software, the ground control software? Uh, so this is, is Paparazzi. Ground control yeah, it station? Is, so GCS, yeah, ground control station, is part of pa Paparazzi. We currently not don't support it yet. So we have the hardware supports uh, using GPS and so on and so forth. But, uh, and Paparazzi does support autonomous flight. Uh, that's where the GCS would come in. Mm. So uh, we, we, we are working on um, getting the support of that working too, but first, first we want the airframe to be stable and work. Right, right of, course. And of course. Can we take a look at what that looks like? Sure, sure. Um, so here it is. Um, this is a place in Toulouse. This is the flying field of uh, Antoine. Okay, <laughs> nice. So he, he, uh, he is, this is an example. Um, in this case, we are running just a simulator, not an actual airplane in the background. Okay. That makes things easier. So mm -hmm. this is uh, a microjet. It's an airplane with, uh, with an autopilot on it. It is simulated in software so that we don't have to like always fly the actual thing. We can debug our software. We can work oh, on good, the software. Oh, good. Like, we were talking about prototyping with exactly. Like an, okay, yes. so, so you've got like a virtual version of a craft. Uh, what are these points that I'm seeing around here? So these are uh, these are waypoints. We have a waypoint for home, and uh, we have a additional waypoint called standby. After the airplane takes off, it um, makes circles around standby. We also have uh, two additional points called one and two. And uh, this is where we can do some uh, additional flight around them. So let me let me launch the, um, the vehicle and I launch it. We see the airplane here. It's uh, so this little blue guy, little blue guy, and it is taking off. And uh, soon we will see the carrot here, the orange uh, triangle. This is what it is trying to follow. The green circle circle is the circle that it will fly around the standby point. We also see that uh, we have uh, 2.7 meters a second wind simulated, so the airplane is being pushed away and trying to keep steady on the green line, uh, even though it is being pushed away by wind. So this is where, uh, where the nature, you, you are, have control loops and the autopilot doing it for you. So no, I am not flying it, it is flying by its own. So yeah, nice. And then you can just give it additional flight plans and yes, it will, I can it will just, for example, for example, I can switch di directly to figure eight around uh, point one and two, and then we see the first circle of the eight, and uh, when it continues, we will see that it will start making uh, eights around the point one and two. Nice, that is so cool. Uh, is it, do you see that the direction that this will go when, when more people get their hands on and start hacking yes, at it? Yes, I, I, yeah, that's, that's the uh, hope of ours. It's like the more people have it in their hands and can do more with it, and uh, I, we are really looking forward to what they will do with it. And this is like the, the place where you can get, like yeah. having the completely autonomous flight and do very interesting uh, video flights or surveillance or um, finding uh, finding people in the forest that uh, got lost and so on and so forth. That is so cool and I, I can't wait for uh, more people to get their hands on this and start hacking away with it, uh, especially with that XML, it looks really easy to just like s yeah. get started. Um, where can people find out more about how they can get one and get involved with uh, that so, kind of project? So you can find more on thequadshot.com, uh, 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 it's our website. Uh, we also have uh, um, a website for paparazzi itself, it's uh, paparazzi.enac.fr. This is a wiki, this, there is a lot of information about paparazzi itself. 
So you can find everything there. There's also a, quite a big community with mailing lists and everything. So Wonderful. All right, well, we love that open source Thank stuff, you. especially when it marries flight. We'll be back in just a bit. Thank you so much. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, or Stussy, then listen up. You can score premium street, skate, and surfwear brands up to 80% off every day at jackthreads.com. There's normally a wait list, but we've got the hookup, so sign up for free at jackthreads.com slash hack5 and start saving instantly without having to leave the house. That just about wraps up this episode of Hack 5 Season 10! I know! Episode 2! <sighs> season 10. Yesterday, or not yesterday, la last week's episode was episode 9. Because in binary, 1001 zero, zero, oh. one is that, uh, eight, 8 plus uh, 1 is... Uh, oh man, yeah. you're a dork. Okay, save me from myself. Let's get some Technolos Photo of the Week up in here. All right, yeah, Technolos Photo of the Week. You guys delivered on those frame case mods last season, so here is the collection of my favorite photos. This is a roundup of your Photo submissions of frame case mods. Thanks to, thanks to Thomas, Tristan, Mace Hacker, James J, Clifford, Gary, and Amy for sending in your out of the box case mods and sending your photos over to feedback at hack5.org to have them on the show. Dude, those were popular. They that was were a lot of fun. extremely popular. Did you we see? Got a ton. I, uh, I did another recent one with a. Uh, a Foil. Foil. Yes. yes. No, this is Very a Faraday nice. cage. I messed up oh, okay. completely. I'm going to have to revisit this because guess what? I didn't ground it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> thank you, ham operators. <laughs> Oops. Wow, OK. Got a lot of emails about that one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. maybe a few. Oh, All right, okay. well, tell me about this week's trivia, because that's what I always wait around for. All right, it's a good one. So we're starting up the trivia again this season. This week's trivia question is, the historically significant computer nicknamed Peanut came in two flavors, one with 64K memory and the other with 128K. What is the actual computer's name? Ooh, hmm. I know this one. Don't answer it right now. Well, uh, you guys can answer over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some out of my goodie bag. Some very nice swag. Yeah, we got some awesome swag back there. You want to get in on that. All right, anyway, guys, remember that you can also subscribe on iTunes and everywhere else. Hack5.org slash subscribe. All, yeah, YouTube. Uh, you can also get your goodies over at hackshop.com. We also have, now we have the CDs from Dual Core and Dale Chase. Yeah, props to Dale Chase and Ablog for that awesome yeah, rap, that was, so go and epic. find his stuff in the Hack Shop. And by the way, every time you purchase one of their CDs, you are helping them directly, so you know, Absolutely. make sure to check it out. Okay, and then uh, of course, Twitter, Google+, Facebook, all the happenings. Head over to uh, hack5.org, find out where we are. We will see you guys next week. Yes! I'm excited. Me I'm going to go do stuff <laughs> involving excitedness. I'm going to go downstairs to the uh, farmer's market out front and uh, remind you guys to, you know, trust your technolust. With organic fruits and vegetables. <laughs>